I grew up in Berkeley Springs and I moved here to Charleston roughly eight years ago, leaving behind the only family I had ever known. While in Charleston, I met my now husband and I also got to meet his family, which also lived here. When my husband started bringing me to their home, I felt like I didn't belong. I felt out of place. I felt like they could never love me, they would never accept me, and I honestly felt like they didn't want me around. Even though I felt that in the beginning, they welcomed me in. They hugged me, they loved me, they laughed with me, they cried with me, they even taught me some things I didn't know. They welcomed me in and they called me their daughter. During this passage, Jesus says something for the first time. In John 20, 17, Jesus calls his disciples his brothers. That is crazy. He finally welcomes them into the family. A new covenant has been made through Christ. They are now a part of this wonderful family. When my mother-in-law started calling me her daughter, I wasn't married to my husband yet. I was already welcomed into the family. My name didn't have to be changed to be a part of their family. In turn, you are already welcomed into Christ's family. You're already his brother, already his sister. Because you believe, you don't have to wait till death to be called his family. Just like my husband's family didn't wait till my name was changed to be welcomed in, the same goes for you. You don't have to wait to be a part of God's family. Because of the penalty that Christ took for us, we have already received the invitation. If you feel like you aren't a part of God's family, I challenge you to spend some time with somebody you trust. Spend some time in prayer, or maybe even try to figure out what it means to you to be a part of a family. For those of you who already know that they're a part of God's family, I challenge you to think of how you can impact others and come up with a plan of action to let them know that they can be accepted into the best family there is.